Today, The Road takes us to the studios of Charles Fazzino, pop artist. How are you? Great. Thank you for coming. I, I have to ask you, how did you get started and how did you develop this style of artwork? I happened to be down in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, walked into an arts and crafts store, and there was little old ladies that were doing um, craft classes. And in the craft classes, they were doing this new art that was actually used as a craft called three-dimensional um, paper tolling. And what that is is cutting out wrapping paper and greeting cards, and they would stack them in 3D using an aquarium sealant, of all things. And that's, <laughs> you know, like you would caulk a, uh, an aquarium that would keep out the water, or keep in the water, I should say, in the aquarium. And I thought it was a really unique idea. I sat down with these old people and uh, started cutting out paper, uh, Disney um, characters, um, cutouts of flowers, and I made this little tiny design, and I said, such a unique idea. I wonder how this would look if I made my own prints and my own artwork using this process of three-dimensional paper cutting. So I went back to New York. I uh, took one of my um, paintings that I was showing at one of the outdoor art shows, I took it to a local printer, and I said, make some prints of these pieces. And he did, and I got some inexpensive offset prints, and I cut and glued them the same way with an exacto knife and a scissor, and they were pretty rough and pretty horrible. I made 20 of them of two designs, one of Washington Square Park and one of my favorite delicatessen down in the Lower East Side where I used to go for college, Katz's Deli. Well, you've refined it to such an extent that you have, what, 60 artists that work with you here I actually do. cutting out all these little designs and pieces and parts of your paintings. There's thousands of pieces involved in cutting out and, and putting together one of my pieces. And years ago, when I first started, I was doing it all myself. And I was sitting on my kitchen floor cutting and putting these pieces together, painting at night and pasting them in the day and trying to have enough work for the weekend art shows. Yeah, well, they you can't walk by them and not look at them. They really, <laughs> the, the, because of the 3D, they kind of pop out at you. And, of course, that was your intention. Well, your unintended result when you started hanging out with these old ladies in Florida. <laughs> well, the thing is, you know, as an artist, I had finished uh, college. I went to School of Visual Arts in New York. And as an, as an artist, and I tell all young artists, when you finish school, you have to do something that's different that sets you apart from everybody else. And it's sort of, that's what I was needed and wanted. And so the pieces come back here, your artists cut them all up, and then mm -hmm. how do you make it 3D? Um, with that aquarium sealant, I now use something that doesn't smell as bad, and uh, <laughs> it's a, uh, actually um, General Electric makes me a special type of glue for me to use that's a little different. Um, and the glue doesn't have this horrible smell that the aquarium sealant does. And they actually get hand glued piece by piece and layered piece by piece on uh, all the cut pieces. So that maybe on a deluxe piece may have three layers, on a numbered piece it will have two layers. Once it's all glued up, then it gets embellished with the Swarovski crystals if it's a deluxe edition. And also, I embellish with um, acrylic glitter. That's what gives the pieces a shine when the light hits it. You don't see it with the light off. But when the light hits it, they just sort of sparkle. And that was also by mistake. So what happy mistake is going to happen next? <laughs> Who I knows? Know. Yeah. Well, the helmets. The helmets have um, become sort of a, a takeoff of my original paintings. The NFL had asked me to do Super Bowl and to commemorate it. And they asked me, you know, do you have anything else we can maybe give to the coaches of each team who win, you know, I mean, or, or uh, the, um, the two teams that are in the Super Bowl? So they sent me some helmets. And I took the helmets and I played with them and it took almost a year to come up with the right look and the right glue that sticks to the helmets because that's a whole process in <laughs> itself. Charles Fazzino, thank you so much. You, your thank work you. is incredible, and uh, there's no mistaking your work when you see a Fazzino, right? That's true. Very good. Thank you, sir. Okay. Join us for Mike Bennett on the Road every Tuesday and Friday night at 6 on Channel 6, Time Warner in the Hudson Valley. And for highlights, go to MikeOnTheRoad.com.